In this video I'm going to cover how to use gradients in Adobe Illustrator CS6 really quickly. So how can you change your design from a flat design like this to a more three-dimensional design like you see here? Well the answer is by using gradients. Really not a hard process um, and really works wonders for your design. Really makes it really pop out. Literally. Um, first what I'm going to do is choose my selection tool and select what I want to apply the gradient tool. Now by the way I used the live trace tool and traced a photograph to get this stem so it's a little different than the rest of my design. The rest of the design I created with the pen tool which I did in previous videos as you see down here in my menu um, my la layers labeled pen tool. What I'm going to do is apply a gradient to this. So I'm going to go to window gradient right here. Now by default your gradient will be a black and white blah gradient. So you can click this little icon right here and it will apply this gradient to it. It might be what you want maybe um, but it'll apply this gradient to it and um, you can change it a little bit from there. You can go to some of these others that may or may not be preloaded but likely you want to get a custom gradient started with your design and the key is to use these sliders along with the rest of this panel to do that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the slider color first and by the sliders I mean at the bottom these this thing I'm moving right here this is a gradient slider as you see when you hover over it it, it calls it a gradient slider so what I'm going to do is double click that gradient slider right there and it loads a menu, a menu pops out and you have likely you have some color swatches that um, come up if you don't have any color swatches you can click on this icon and you see a color um, mixer come up if you don't have either of those you can click on the there's a little flyout menu is kinda hidden right there and you can choose CMYK and then you can mix your color or pick your color better yet right here so you see I can pick a red for that side and for the the right side I'll pick another red maybe or yellow how about that um, so you can get a, a nice gradient started there there's more though um, under type you have a linear gradient which is what this is and actually what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go to the gradient tool the gradient tool you can switch to by hitting the G key on your keyboard or clicking on that tool on your tool panel and as you see when I hover over this gradient itself that bar that, that gradient slider bar that is located in the gradient panel is repeated right here in the middle of your gradient so you can double click this right here and change your colors here as well um, so you can make a different color um, same for the other side so really quick really easy to do that you can also while you're on the gradient tool you can click anywhere and drag and it will reposition your gradient. You see right here this is my angle. I can change this manually under angle or I can click and drag and do this visually um, just by clicking and dragging. If I switch the type to radial it changes this instead of a linear gradient it's, it's working as a, an elliptical type of gradient and I can click and drag with this and it will also change my gradient position. By the way, if you want to switch your colors, if you want to reverse that so it's yellow on the inside and red on the outside, I can hit this little um, button. All these buttons are kind of hidden, um, but you can click that button right there and it will reverse your gradient for you. So that might be more what I'm looking for for my design. Maybe the light's hitting at the top or on the side or even in the middle of the design. By the way, when you're on this gradient tool, and using a ra radial gradient you can grab these handles at the top and the side you just kind of hover over the gradient itself and it makes it active and you can resize your gradient this way as well or reposition it um, and as you see in my gradient panel this is changing this, these numbers are changing so you can change it either way either visually or with the gradient tool kind of um, or in, in the gradient panel by numbers so there's your gradients um, there's a few more things you can do to this. I can add more colors. And what I have to do to do that is a little tricky. Um, you hover over the gradient slider and just move your mouse down until your mouse turns white and has a little plus sign by it. So see how my, my mouse turns white. I'm just hovering. I'm not clicking anything. And then once you get it turned white and there's a plus sign, you just click once and let go. And it automatically samples a color and makes a slider 
um, it samples the color that you clicked where you clicked it. Um, so if I again just do that, I can add as many gradient sliders as I can fit in there, and you can double click and change the colors around as well. Um, so you can have multiple colors in here as well. Once you get your colors set, you can move them around. Um, so you can click on these sliders and you can switch them around like so. If you want to give this a layered look. If you want it to be more realistic, likely you want fewer colors though. So you can click on the sliders and drag them straight down. Drag them straight down and they disappear. They just go off into oblivion. Just click straight down, click and drag straight down, click and drag straight down and click and drag straight down gets rid of the colors and there you have your gradient now you may you may want to start actually with a preset gradient and I might have should I might should have shown you this to start with but there's a lot to this so go to window swatches if you want a preset gradient you can go to window swatches open up your swatch panel you can either click the bottom left flyout menu or the upper right flyout menu that's just right here. If you click the upper right flyout menu you have to go to open swatch library and then go to gradient and there's a number of gradients that are preset these are just preset you, you probably likely have to um, make some adjustments to them for example fruits and vegetables this opens up a library and you see that I get a number of preset fruits and vegetables um, that are set in into the in the program from default. Now, like I said, I have to change this around a little bit to make it look better for my particular design. Um, and I might have to move the design around. By the way, you can click the center of the gradient slider to move it around as well. And um, tweak it as you need it to be tweaked to make your design really come to life and look realistic, like a real photograph almost. So that's some of the key steps. By the way, you can click this top slider and it adjusts where, where the colors mix. So if you want it to be a hard mix or a light mix, maybe a pin light versus a flash, a flood light, um, you can change that around as well. Um, but that's one of the key steps to getting your illustration started to make a very high quality design that really comes to life.